Hello, welcome to is it Saturday evening, Saturday night. I wanted to bring you into um, a little more understanding of what I do. Uh, of course, I pull tarot cards. Uh, that's something my grandmother taught me. Uh, she was a little French woman, and her grandmother taught her. So um, my grandmother recently passed away, and I don't know, just I just got this idea to um, to revive something that brought us close together, and that's why I formed this um, YouTube channel. Um, this is not what I do for a living. Uh, I do. I am so grateful for the people that I've met, and it's it's been a great um, experience so far. Uh, once in a while, because it's the internet, you you might run into someone who has very strict and specific ideas of, of what tarot is. And um, I don't follow, um, I don't follow tarot as a very strict one way to do things paradigm. The, the, whole, like, con the whole concept to me, the way it was taught to me, is that I'm reading. I'm reading the, the stories and the energy within the cards in the context of the questions that are being asked or whatever is being presented forth through spirit. Um, I don't take any credit for what's happening. I know very well that my ancestors, my guardian angels, and my guides helped me along the way. I know this to be true because they crack me up, they are funny, and they help me to not be so serious because what I do for a living is I, I teach and I take that very seriously. So this is, it's an outlet for me, tapping into a creative, spiritual, um, part of my life, and I dig it. Um, the other two parts of what I do, so we, we covered tarot. I hope that makes sense, and if you have any questions, just comment below. Um, the other thing I do with the tarot is I, I read spiritual energy. I, I, I kind of mentioned that earlier. What is reading spiritual energy? Um, everyone has it. Everyone is intuitive. I think it, you're as intuitive as you allow yourself to be. If you say to yourself, I'm intuitive and you respect <coughs> and you, um, excuse me, you build that part of your life. If you acknowledge it with reverence, your gut instinct, you, you create a name for it. It's, it's part of hmm, how you navigate this sometimes very perilous journey. Um, here, let me give you a for instance. And I, I know most of you, if not all of you, are going to say, I've done that. You, you're in a room and you're talking, you're talking with someone. All of a sudden, you feel the eyes of someone else on you. You know for a fact. No one has to tell you. No one has to write you a letter. You know for a fact someone's giving you the eyeballs. And you look up. Sure enough, what do you see? You see someone. And, and who knows intent? We're not even going to go there right now. But you knew someone was looking at you. Now, when you acknowledge that and you give yourself credit, credit for having this intuition, it, like any other muscle, grows. And you can, you can become quite able to read whole rooms. Um, I, I'm thinking that a lot of people who um, are like po professional poker players have this instinct. There's only so many things you can do with playing cards. 
Um, and then you have to say, there's got to be so much more to it. It's not, it can't be all luck. There has to be what? Right. There has to be a level of intuition, instinct. Uh, the third thing that I do is um, very specific, and not everyone understands it, but it's something that I've always done, um, even when I was uh, in grade school. And it is, um, how would you, well, I guess the technical term is psychography, psychography or spirit writing, or um, just, it's, it's writing. For me, it's not words, it's patterns. I, I'll show you a, a brief, <laughs> and please don't be afraid. Um, so as I'm speaking about the cards that I pulled, what I'm doing if, is, it's not necessarily if I get stuck, but it is sometimes when I get stuck. Um, and this, why, how, how do I get stuck? Well, if, if the entity I'm tapping into is not fully aware of why they're doing something, I, where can I go with that? If the entity is not fully developed, and capable to handle other people knowing their truths before they do, I can get stuck. What this kind of scribbling does for me, psychography, what, what the scribbling does, automatic writing, it, it helps me go into a pattern and a direction. Let me just show you. So um, I'm, if I try to tap into something, I won't do it here because it's quite powerful. But, um, okay, let me think, think, let me think, let me think. Could it be this? Could it be this? Oh, and then I, I'll get a strong, the, the circles will get smaller and more direct. If I'm way off, it, it like, nope, nope, that's not it. I could actually reverse. The, the pen reverses. And yes, I, I like a pen. The cheaper, the better. And I use a lot of these. These are just little recipe cards. So um, that's what helps me. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm really off base. Um, and then if, if I can, it, it's almost like a cathartic moment, a breakthrough. A breakthrough might happen. And then by my writing, it'll just get more peaceful, more fluid. And I'll say, okay, I'm, I'm, I believe that I'm on the right track. Now this is, to me, uh, um, something from the divine. Thank you. I agree. But I'm always cautious of other entities entering the process. And I can feel this, especially during the automatic psychography. I can, I can feel it because the pen almost, it's like I, it, like this, like it's scattered almost. Like someone's trying to mess with my writing hand. Or, here's where I know I've got to shut the whole thing down. If I start, if the pen passes from my dominant right hand into my left hand, everything gets shut down. Everything gets shut down. Everything gets unplugged. Every window gets opened. The house is saged like it's Thanksgiving Day. So um, I, I take it quite seriously. I am not the best in the business. I am a work in progress. Um, my cards are not the best. Um, I know uh, I've had complaints about the cards being shiny. Um, I'm... Desperately searching for flat finish cards. Again, I, I will get them when the universe sends them to me. Um, I've here. I have to think. I don't want you to think ill of me. When I have a need, I 
put it to the universe. I need something. And then I'll do my best to find it. And when it comes to the point of, I can't find it, I'm getting frustrated, I stop. That's the universe either saying it's not meant for you to have right now or I've got something better coming for you. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So uh, what else can I discern from the, the readings that I do? Energy. Energy. Everything is energy. Um, when you're writing me a comment, I feel your energy. Um, when you're frustrated with me, I feel your energy. And then I have to really gently remind you, I am not a conduit of all things from you and to the divine. That is the re that's a sacred relationship between you and the divine, right? What I can do is I can read energies and um, try to decipher the shadows I see in the wall. I can try to listen to the in conversations between the um, between the doors, but um, I am not the be all to end all. Um, I think someone asked me what I think my my greatest um, asset is, and I I would like to say kindness. I'd like to say I'm a kind person. Um, Regarding the handful of private readings, um, I really, so what you do is you, you just follow the steps and you, you, you do what you feel is right and I'm going to help people as I can. I won't be able to do a lot. It's truly maybe 12 to 16 reads a month you know, four to five reads a week. Um, and that's only because a few of you have reached out with very specific concerns, very specific worries that hopefully I can not resolve, but at least give you hope. Or not, if, if I read that what you're after is something that you have had before and was disastrous. And I don't see good things coming down the line. I'm not going to tell you to continue with something you know you shouldn't do. So if you're the kind of person that wants to pay a tarot reader to tell you what you want to hear, I'm sorry, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Like I said, I, I don't do this for a living. This is not what I do for work. This is a passion. Um, this is a labor of love. And I really care about you guys. So, we're going to fix it in the mix. I, I just don't want you to worry too much. It, I don't know if you have any other questions for me. Um, I think what I'll do is present this as well as a live feed. Just to see if there's someone... Um, who has something they want to either add, because there are there are several advanced entities in our group, and, and I'm just so so thrilled and honored that that you're here with us. And what you add to the conversation is well, well put, and um, I value your ideas and thoughts very much. For some reason. The divine has, has blessed our little group and, and we are growing. And the people in our group, it's, it's like a like-minded, like-hearted um, manifestation of, of what we could have for an online community. So um, other than that, please keep your comments to me kind. The day that I think that I have to shut off the comments will be the day that I close the accounts. I can handle an occasional person who has issues that aren't mine. Um, because you know how that works. Um, I'm, I'm a light entity. I'm a light worker. I hate, well, I'm an oracle. And um, 
I, 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 I adore the divine. So what the adversary would do then is send as many little sticky wickets to kind of disrupt us. I can handle it. I can handle it. If I have to put my warrior um, armor on, I will. Um, I'm not, <laughs> don't send them my way because I sounded arrogant. I'm just confident that divine has my back. I am confident. Just as confident as I am that when I sit on a chair, it's going to hold me up. I am confident that my angel, my guardian angel, who I, I love and I, I count on so much, they have my back. My ancestors, all the people that I've helped through the years in, in hospice and healthcare, I know that you have my back. So if I can help other people, you're going to help me do that. Well, I, I hope that this has been useful. If nothing else, it's been, it's been just fun talking to you. Okay? Now, take good care of yourself, and we'll, we'll talk to you. Love you bunches like bananas. <laughs>